Hello Power Diary friends, Irina here, the Product and Community Specialist with Power Diary. In this short video, I will show you how you can easily create and share online forms with your clients. Let's take a look together. Let us start with adding more online form templates to your account. To do so, we will go to the Tools menu and go to Form Designer. Your trial account may already have some online form templates provided. You can build your new forms from scratch using the new form template builder here, or you can upload something from the template library. Let's do that. Uh, I will scroll down and select the form I want to copy to my account. And at the bottom of the form preview, I will click on the Save to my account button. And there you go. I have added some online forms to my account and now I am ready to start sending them to my clients. To begin with, I will embed the online forms into my communication templates so that I can use those templates anytime I need to send the forms to my clients. Let us go to the Tools Communication Templates menu. And here I already have created a template for the welcome email to take in new clients. So what I will do, I'll click on that email template uh, and I will scroll to the bottom to the available merge fields. Click on that link and select links to online forms. And I want to add, for example, the new client intake form to my welcome email. So I have copied the merge field and I will paste it here under the instructions. I can add one more form. So I copied already the intake form and I also want to uh, add the HIPAA notice of privacy, uh, privacy practices and consent. So I will copy that field as well. And again, paste it into my email template. And I will save the changes. There you go. My email template for welcoming new clients is ready. Uh, while we are still here in the communication templates, I can recommend adding those online forms to your uh, client portal registration emails that you can also set up to be sent out automatically. It will even um, make your intake process even easier than before. So the new registration notification to client when they register through the online form, you can embed the online form templates into uh, that email as well. New client intake and paste and save. So this way you can embed those forms to all the communication templates where they belong. As our next step, let me show you how you can use those templates with online forms we just created. So first of all, let's uh, set up some automated notifications to clients. So to do that, we'll go to settings, client portal, and go to the notifications menu of the client portal setup. So here uh, we will go to the sections uh, named when new client registered notify. And in the client field, we will select the client portal a new registration notification to client template where we have just added our online forms and we will save changes. From now on, every time a new client registers through your uh, client portal, uh, they will receive that automated email notification and they will be asked to provide their registration information. When you add new client profiles to your Power Diary account manually, you can also send them the uh, welcome email asking them to provide those forms. So to do that, let's search for the client we just added. Go to their profile and we will go to their communications tab. Uh, we will select new email and select the template for our welcome email. This will create the email, this will generate the form drafts and you just need to save and send those messages uh, to your client. The drafts of these forms and when they are completed, the completed forms will be saved and found in the client profile. 
So if you are this client's practitioner or if you are the practice manager with full access to all Power Diary data, you can just go in the client profile records forms and you will see all the online form drafts and completed forms here uh, in the client profile. So for example, we have two drafts we just created. If you uh, work in the admin team and you don't have access to the confidential client information stored in the records folder, you may still work with admin type of forms. For that, you will go into admin and select admin forms in the client profile. And if a form is the admin type, you will see them listed here. So you will still have access to the admin forms and work on them as needed. And one more useful tip I wanted to share with you today. So for example, you work in the admin team and the client arrived to their first appointment, but they didn't complete the intake form or any other form you require them to do before the initial appointment. Again, you can easily help your clients to fill out the form without the need to print it out. What you will do, you will go to their client profile and you will navigate to the admin admin forms section. Here you will see the forms listed for the client, the drafts that were created and uh, were sent to the client. So if you have a work tablet that clients can use to fill in some information, excellent. All you need to do is just to click on the go to portal form icon and their form will be open on the template and uh, ta uh, tablet, sorry, and the clients will be able to fill it out and submit. If you do not have a device that you can share with the client when they are in your practice, you can send the form link to their phone. To do that, you will just copy the form link, go to communication, new SMS, paste the form link, and send it to the client. They will receive the form on their uh, phone and fill it out and submit for you. I hope you found this video useful. Please let me know what you think and if you have any feedback in the comment section under this video and let me know what other tips and tricks video I should record for you. See you later.